Hello and welcome to another of Creative Block's Two Minute Tool Schools. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the Gradient Tool. The Gradient Tool is found in the Tools panel over here alongside the Paint Bucket Tool. And once selected you have lots of options along the top of the screen here in the Options bar that allow you to change how it behaves. First of all we have the Gradient Picker and here you can choose from lots of different gradient presets. I've just chosen the foreground to background preset here and this blends two colors based on the colors I have selected in my color swatch down here. There are lots of gradient presets to choose from and you can find lots more in the flyout menu here. You can also customize your own gradients by clicking within the preview window here to access the gradient editor. Next to the gradient picker we have five different gradient styles to choose from. The linear gradient style will give us a straightforward blend between our colours. The radial gradient style will allow us to make a circular blend from a centre point. The angle gradient style will give us a 360 degree blend like that. The reflected gradient style will blend equally out in either direction. And the diamond gradient style will give us an effect like that. We can also select a blending mode for our gradient, change the opacity and set to reverse, dither or transparency. The gradient tool can also be really useful when changing tones in different areas of an image like this. Let's say I want to darken the sky down, I can bring up my layers panel and then add a curves adjustment and just drag down on the curve line to darken the entire image. But then I can use a gradient to restrict the effect to the sky. So I just need to grab the gradient tool, I'll choose the linear gradient style and then I can just simply drag a gradient from the land up towards the sky and you can see how we've created a gradient on our layer mask to blend in the tones so we have that darkening affecting the sky but blending nicely into the rest of the image. So there we go, that's just a few different uses for Photoshop's gradient tool.